Hey, how's it going everyone? Lately, I have been slowly but surely getting back into mountain biking shape, and what I'm doing is heading out to Devil's Den State Park, which is actually the birthplace of Arkansas mountain biking, so exciting and cool little fun fact. But anyways, the trail system that I'm gonna be doing, starting at Devil's Racetrack, riding about three and a half miles onto the Fossil Flats loop, and then from there, I believe it's right at like seven miles for that loop, but you can take these uh, maybe like five or six little blue loops off to the side and then finish with a black diamond loop as well. So I'm gonna do all that and I anticipate it being anywhere from like 14 to 16-ish miles. So uh, gonna be an exciting one. The goal for today is to do all of it in like two and a half, three hours. So that is the goal. Riding all of the monumental mountain biking trail system at Devil's Den in two and a half to three hours. See you on the trails. Looks like we're gonna have the trail all to ourselves today. So I am parked up at the Devil's Racetrack Trailhead and I've actually not rode it from right here. I've always parked at the little horse camp. Okay. So. All right, so we're down here, gonna be riding Devil's Racetrack all the way over to here, coming up here and staying to the blue loops, doing the outer all the way around, staying to the black diamond over here and coming back down, meeting back up over here. Let's get it. All right, so I have not actually ever rode this part of the Devil's Racetrack because every time that I've came out here, it's been closed down. So I've always started at a little horse camp, maybe a mile into it or so. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for this. We'll see how long that excited attitude holds up once I start going uphill and uh, getting into that stuff. <sighs> so I said that I would like to do the whole outer loop in two and a half to three-ish hours. But in all reality, I would like to just complete it all. So uh, that's gonna be a accomplishment in and of itself. And if I do get it in two and a half to three hours, then hey, we're cooking, baby. Just gonna try my best not to pedal and completely wear myself out and kill myself. So uh, it's gonna be a little hard. Yeah. Oh, I have been wanting to get back to some of this stuff. So I've been extra excited to get back out here and ride because I do love me some Jank techie stuff. Oh. These trails are so cool. Oh. A little high of a gear going through that though, so uh, my legs are already burning. Oh lordy. All right, so usually I park right up there at this little bathroom area and take the trail line right here. So a little bit of this stuff I've done, but still not done all of it. So I'm excited for it. And regardless, it's been over a year since I've rode here. And even at that, it's not like I rode here too often, just a couple of times. So uh, yeah. Fine, but I'm too, you know, a bit of a too high of a gear, but hey, we're cooking. I love how much you have to fully be aware while riding technical and Jenkinar stuff and kind of always scanning the trail ahead and 
I mean, really, you should be doing that anyways. <sighs> Not even too far into the trail yet. And the uphill is just starting and I'm already dying. So, uh, this is gonna be a fun one, ladies and gents. My Lord. Yeah, and we do got a decent bit of climbing. Whew. Hey, I knew what I was signing up for though. No complaining over her. We're just out here enjoying this nice, beautiful 60 degree morning. <sighs> Even if we are dying a bit. Also, another goal is to only stop whenever the GoPro needs the battery change. So uh, that's gonna be a struggle in and of itself right there too. Because I'm already feeling a bit wounded over her. I love this type of stuff so much. My lord. So fun. I'm not sure exactly how it's so wet out here because I mean, the road coming in was a little damp, but it wasn't supposed to rain at all last night. And I only live about an hour away and it didn't rain at all where I live either. So a little confused on that, but most of the trail is still dry. So we cooking. Forgot how fun these trails are, oh my gosh. Such cool cross country riding with beautiful, beautiful scenery. Oh, that water driplets, those water driplets feel so, so nice. Oh, it's so sick. Oh. oh my lord, this is so fun. All right, so you can go that way and go around a little uh, switchback or you can hit this little drop right here coming out of that skadurdle on through there so you already know turning around so we can hit that and skadurdle on that way and i should have enough speed from here i believe oh shoot kind of uh i lost my front brake for a second after i came off the drop and uh yeah, about overshot the next little uh, turn, but hey, we cooking. I couldn't ask for a better morning to be out here riding. 
slightly overcast mid 60s a little breeze going through the air Mwah. Holy. Good night. My freaking foot slipped and my heel was on the pedal. Uh, I don't know what we do here. All right, it is confirmed. We do stay on the up and ups. Landing on wet, wet rock, not a smart idea. So freaking pretty. So freaking cool. That's one thing. A lot of times I can get myself to kind of blindly commit on jump lines and whatnot, but out here, we are there. Now we are gonna take Outlaw Loop up to Sawmill Loop and do all this fun stuff coming around. So uh, yeah, so far we've gone from here all the way across this blue squiggly to here and we are about three and a half miles in, maybe a little over. So on we go. Oh, this is so pretty. And that's one thing with cross-country mountain bike riding is I like just getting out and enjoying the scenery and enjoying the ride. Ah, as much as I can at least while killing myself, but uh, yeah. Whew. Beautiful day. Oh, my lord. Ah. Whoo. We've got a lot of climbing to do also still.
so fun, oh my gosh. Yeah, my serotonin is boosted, baby. I am gonna need a bit more of a boost for this uphill, though, I will say. Whew. Here we go. Now we're cooking. <sighs> yeah. If I've made it a dollar a day, gonna continue up on this way, take that back around to Outlaw Loop, and then I believe Sawmill Loop will be the next little trail that we'll veer off on. Just gonna enjoy the beautiful weather and scenery that I was given on this fine, fine day. Legs are burning. <sighs> they are burning. That's interesting. I'm wondering if I missed something, so I don't feel like I should be going back this way, but maybe so. I don't know. Now we're still on the right path, but I think we'll take Sawmill this way. Alright, so I guess dollar a day ran into Sawmill Loop. Now we're back on Outlaw Run, heading over to All You Can Eat. Oh, brother, brother, I was trying to go through without getting my feet soaked. Oh, that did not happen. So I do have on some wool hiking socks so my feet aren't like wet or anything and just a little cool, but my shoes are soaked. So that is that. All right, I will say, I actually think I'm doing a little bit better than I anticipated because I was a little worried off the start because I was kind of getting winded pretty fast, but I think we've gone over a little halfway at this point or right at, and I still feel like I've got a good bit of gas in the tank, so we'll see if we finish it out with that same energy because I think I do still have a bit of hill climbing left in the near future. Alrighty, right at seven miles in, got the GoPro battery changed up. Hopefully we won't have to do that again because we are about halfway through with the trails. So 
Lordy. Good grief. My legs are going to be mushed by the time I get back to the car. Whew. Hey, we're enjoying it though. <sighs> Looks so magical out here today. This is wild. What's even more wild is that I've got it all to myself and haven't seen a single other rider on here. <sighs> then again, I did get up at about 5.30 and head out here and start riding at about 7, so there's that too. Not even sure what time it is right now, but the goal is to make it back to the car by 10.30 because we roughly started at 7.30, I think it was like 7.25, so yeah. I will say, I am starting to feel it in my knees a bit though, so that's a little worrisome. We're still cooking for now though, ladies and gents. If I just know he stay left. Or at least I think that's what we're doing, so. Yeah, I just know there's a lot of stuff that I want to cover from here because these trails are phenomenal in my opinion. At least if you like cross country riding that is. Yeah, feeling good. Actually, this is feeling great to be honest. This is exactly what I needed. <sighs> nice spring morning on some good Arkansas cross country mountain biking trails. It's always good for the soul. So cool. Ooh, definitely don't want to hit your shoulder on one of those rocks. That would be a rough one. I will say this video probably is going to be a little bit longer because the overall goal is to just kind of showcase what all mountain biking Devil's Den has to offer as a whole. And so I would like to I would like to include a little bit of every trail and just kind of a whole lap of the area. So what I might end up doing is breaking it down into two little videos. My feet weren't set up very good through any of that right there. Yeah, I don't know if y'all could tell, but I did almost go down. But hey, are we still cooking? No, maybe it was like right there. Somewhere along here I did wipe out one time and that was not a fun time. So glad to get through that with ease this time. About slow off the edge on that one, just getting carried away. My lord, this is beautiful. <laughs> that was some fun downhill, but as Newton's law of downhill mountain biking goes, whatever goes down must go back up. So I'm gonna go with some climbing. Yes, sir. Had a good little bit of uphill, and now we are blessed with some little smooth sailing flowy stuff. And my lord, hang on, hang on. One of the things that my dad has instilled in me is to stop, slow down, take a second, and admire the beauty that the world has to offer. So let's just stop and do that for a second, because these trails are beautiful followed up with these immaculate views so good night man and that's part of the reason that I wanted to come and bike here as well just a little bit because it's just so pretty that's insane I am not a drinker so let's get a cheers of water to that Whew. on we go
drag my butt a little bit of my seat on that one. Woo! That was fun. Oh, and actually, I do know that we go this way because take Sparky to Orville. Haven't ever tried it or even looked at it, so not really sure what I'm getting into on that, but we shall see shortly. Oh, that felt kind of nice. Uh, this was supposed to be one way downhill. Uh, good night. Hey, we still enjoying it. Just a few more calories that I can eat later in the day, you heard? Yes, sir. All right, so we come up to here. Got Sparky off to the right, Orville off to the left. Sparky's a blue trail, Orville's a black diamond. These are the last two little veer off trails, I believe. And you already know we're gonna take Orville. Haven't tried it yet, but I will say too, this little techie piece right here looks just my style. So I'm gonna ride that over and then take that on into Orville. So as y'all can see, I have decided to break this video down into two parts. And the main reason being that I did kind of just want to showcase um, what Devil's Den Mountain Biking has to offer as a whole. The, the trails and landscape vary so widely there. It's so crazy how you can go from riding like perfectly smooth, just dirt trail to completely rock jank gnar in the blink of an eye. I definitely do like it. And I just kind of wanted to show how quickly it does change and what all the trail system has to offer. And couldn't really do that without having a little bit longer of a video. So I decided to break it down into two parts and we will be starting the second video on some Black Diamond Janknar. So see y'all for that. Anyways, if y'all are still here at this point in the video, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all have a great rest of the day. Till next time, peace. <laughs>